previewing the headset's gaming capabilities during the presentation, and shares of Unity Software spiked on news that it's working with Apple on games for the device. Let's bring in Wedbush Security Senior Analyst Michael Pachter. Michael, what's the impact here that you see on the gaming industry and its business model? Because what the potential I see anyway is that this is Apple's stealth launch of a gaming console. It's going to take potentially a high-end gaming revenue from this thing, especially if it eventually reaches uh, unit volumes. Uh, thank you for having me, John. And I, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it, it, I guess it comes down to how many units of Vision Pro Apple expects to sell. And, you know, at 3,500 bucks, it's uh, seven times the price of a game console. And those guys sell, you know, 30 million-ish per year. So, you know, I, I would be shocked if Apple was able to sell 30 million a year, but it's Apple, so you never know. Um, I think that what's interesting here is, you know, Apple came up with the iPhone, and I don't even think they were considering games being a killer app. I think they saw what happened with the iPhone, and they re recognize now that games will be a killer app. Um, Oculus, Meta, Meta Quest has been doing that for quite a while. Um, and it's, again, not a, not a big install base, so it's been hard to get a lot of content. But it's going to be led by brands, and if it's games, then it's going to be led by gaming brands. So EA Sports and Activision with Call of Duty, you know, Take-Two with Grand Theft Auto, those are going to be experiences that people want to play. Are any hardware makers or platform providers at risk if Apple can get the cost of the Vision Pro cut in half, say, in the next three to five years? Well, Meta's had the market to themselves, so clearly they're at risk. Uh, and none of us think of you know Facebook Meta as a hardware manufacturer. Um, Sony is probably the one that's most at risk. Obviously, the PlayStation has been a big seller for 30 years, and they have their own virtual reality um, game headset. Uh, Apple has a chance because mm. Apple understands hardware, understands the customer. And at what Apple's particularly good at is all of its hardware works so well with all of its other hardware. And right. apps are so easy and so intuitive. So I'd say Sony probably the most at risk. I don't think Facebook was going to win in any case once Apple entered the By market. By working with Unity, does Apple potentially create a, a Web 2.0 type effect where they were able to make it less relevant that Microsoft and Windows had this installed base of applications that worked on Windows and didn't work on Mac. Mac. As software yeah, yes. development moved to the web, it, it didn't matter as much. Is there that potential here with this device and with this working with Unity? I think that's really insightful. And yes, John, I think you're right. Um, Unity is the democratic small d approach to, to game development. Um, they make their software free for anybody who is pre-revenue. So students and startups can use the software for free. And that's a pretty cheap entry price. So, you know, pretty much if they are partnered with Apple and you want to build an application for Vision Pro, you're going to use Unity. So that's really good. And, you know, think of it like making a YouTube video and having, you know, Carrie Underwood or, or somebody, you know, emerge from YouTube videos, <laughs> Justin Bieber. Um, that's what you're going to see. You're going to have everybody have access to the software. And that means that you're going to get really, you know, innovative, creative things that come out of it.